Natural Language Processing, Wikipedia Article Audio Natural language processing is an area of computer science and artificial intelligence concerned with the interactions between computers and human languages, in particular how to program computers to fruitfully process large amounts of natural language data. History Statistical Natural Language Processing Major Evaluations and Tasks Syntax Semantics Discourse Speech Challenges in natural language processing frequently involve speech recognition, natural language understanding, and natural language generation. The history of NLP generally started in the 1950s, although work can be found from earlier periods. In 1950, Alan Turing published an article titled Computing Machinery and Intelligence which proposed what is now called the Turing Test as a criterion of intelligence. The Georgetown experiment in 1954 involved fully automatic translation of more than 60 Russian sentences into English. The authors claimed that within three or five years, machine translation would be a solved problem. However, real progress was much slower, and after the ALPAC report in 1966, which found that 10-year-long research had failed to fulfill the expectations, funding for machine translation was dramatically reduced. Little further research in machine translation was conducted until the late 1980s, when the first statistical machine translation systems were developed. Some notably successful NLP systems developed in the 1960s were Schrode Lu, a natural language system working in restricted blocks worlds with restricted vocabularies, and Eliza, a simulation of a Roach Ryan psychotherapist, written by Joseph Wee Eisenbaum between 1964 and 1966. Using almost no information about human thought or emotion, Eliza sometimes provided a startlingly human-like interaction. When the patient exceeded the very small knowledge base, Eliza might provide a generic response, for example, responding to my head hurts with why do you say your head hurts. During the 1970s, many programmers began to write conceptual ontologies, which structured real-world information into computer-understandable data. Examples are Margie, Sam, Pam, Tailspin, Qualm, Politics, and Plot Units. During this time, many chatterbots were written including Perry, Ractor, and Jabberwacky. Up to the 1980s, most NLP systems were based on complex sets of handwritten rules. Starting in the late 1980s, however, there was a revolution in NLP with the introduction of machine learning algorithms for language processing. This was due to both the steady increase in computational power and the gradual lessening of the dominance of Komskyan theories of linguistics, whose theoretical underpinnings discouraged the sort of corpus linguistics that underlies the machine learning approach to language processing. Some of the earliest used machine learning algorithms, such as decision trees, produced systems of hard if-then rules similar to existing handwritten rules. However, part of speech tagging introduced the use of hidden Markov models to NLP, and increasingly, research has focused on statistical models, which make soft probabilistic decisions based on attaching real valued weights to the features making up the input data. The cache language models upon which many speech recognition systems now rely are examples of such statistical models. Such models are generally more robust when given unfamiliar input, especially input that contains errors and produce more reliable results when integrated into a larger system comprising multiple subtasks. 
Many of the notable early successes occurred in the field of machine translation, due especially to work at IBM Research, where successively more complicated statistical models were developed. These systems were able to take advantage of existing multilingual textual corpora that had been produced by the Parliament of Canada and the European Union as a result of laws calling for the translation of all governmental proceedings into all official languages of the corresponding systems of government. However, most other systems depended on corpora specifically developed for the tasks implemented by these systems which was a major limitation in the success of these systems. As a result, a great deal of research has gone into methods of more effectively learning from limited amounts of data. Recent research has increasingly focused on unsupervised and semi-supervised learning algorithms. Such algorithms are able to learn from data that has not been hand-annotated with the desired answers or using a combination of annotated and non-annotated data. Generally, this task is much more difficult than supervised learning, and typically produces less accurate results for a given amount of input data. However, there is an enormous amount of non-annotated data available, which can often make up for the inferior results. In recent years, there has been a flurry of results showing deep learning techniques achieving state-of-the-art results in many natural language tasks, for example in language modeling, parsing, and many others. Since the so-called statistical revolution in the late 1980s and mid-1990s, much natural language processing research has relied heavily on machine learning. Formerly, Many language processing tasks typically involved the direct hand coding of rules, which is not in general robust to natural language variation. The machine learning paradigm calls instead for using statistical inference to automatically learn such rules through the analysis of large corpora of typical real-world examples is a set of documents, possibly with human or computer annotations. Many different classes of machine learning algorithms have been applied to NLP tasks. These algorithms take as input a large set of features that are generated from the input data. Some of the earliest used algorithms, such as decision trees, produced systems of hard if-then rules similar to the systems of handwritten rules that were then common. Increasingly, however, Research has focused on statistical models, which make soft, probabilistic decisions based on attaching real valued weights to each input feature. Such models have the advantage that they can express the relative certainty of many different possible answers rather than only one, producing more reliable results when such a model is included as a component of a larger system. Systems based on machine learning algorithms have many advantages over hand-produced rules. The following is a list of some of the most commonly researched tasks in NLP. Note that some of these tasks have direct real-world applications, while others more commonly serve as subtasks that are used to aid in solving larger tasks. Though NLP tasks are obviously very closely intertwined, they are frequently, for convenience, subdivided into categories. A course division is given below. The learning procedures used during machine learning automatically focus on the most common cases, whereas when writing rules by hand it is often not at all obvious where the effort should be directed. Automatic learning procedures can make use of statistical inference algorithms to produce models that are robust to unfamiliar input and to erroneous input. Generally, handling such input gracefully with handwritten rules or more generally, creating systems of handwritten rules that make soft decisions is extremely difficult, error-prone, and time-consuming. Systems based on automatically learning the rules can be made more accurate simply by supplying more input data. However, 
systems based on handwritten rules can only be made more accurate by increasing the complexity of the rules, which is a much more difficult task. In particular, there is a limit to the complexity of systems based on handcrafted rules, beyond which the systems become more and more unmanageable. However, Creating more data to input to machine learning systems simply requires a corresponding increase in the number of man-hours worked, generally without significant increases in the complexity of the annotation process.